Good morning, Honorable Mayor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to my fellow Vietnam veterans and to all the other veterans who are here today. Today we honor the men and women on this wall. They truly present the land of the free and the home of the brave. They are America's heroes, never to be forgotten in our time. They're warriors who answer the call to duty for their country. They made the ultimate sacrifice so others could live and come home. When we came home, there was no parades, just mom and dad, our brothers and sisters, and other family members to greet us. That's just the way it was in an unpopular war. America had forgotten about us. They just wanted us to go away and never come back. When we came home, we too were wounded warriors, both physically and mentally. But where was America when we needed them the most? Never a day goes by that I don't ask myself why I was so lucky to come back to the real world and one piece, even though I was wounded twice. But it will never be over until you say to yourself, it's over. That's because what we did and what we came and saw came home with us. We will never forget the brave men and women whose name we see on the wall because they will always be in our hearts and souls. In the end, and I quote, all we wanted was our country to love us as much as we love our country. Thank you for coming here today to pay tribute to the men and women who gave everything for their country. So God bless America, God bless the USA, and thank you. Also here today, our next speaker comes from the state of Louisiana. We have also two representatives from Governor Jeff Landry's office here today, Doug Sheremy and the next speaker, Mr. Bobby Ragsdale. Thank you. First off, on behalf of the governor of the state of Louisiana and the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, uh, Jeff Landry and Charlton McGinley, I want to thank you all for having us here. Thank you, Mayor Glazer. Uh, thank you, Colonel Gallagher, for your great words. Colonel Gallagher, by the way, another great uh, bannerman of the Harvard and West Point brands. We appreciate you repping the brand, sir. And I know that with apologies to some of our distinguished guests on stage and the wonderful Marine Corps band, I know, sir, that you will join me in a resounding Go Army, Beat Navy. Don't worry, sir. I won't, I won't ask you to do the rocket with me. Uh, come find me later. So I, I want to say um, I joined the Army in the wake of 9-11. And as a veteran of the most recent American wars, I have never personally felt anything but the great respect, love, and appreciation of the American people. But I know that that is not true for all of our veterans of all generations, and especially those Vietnam veterans who did not come home to the reception that they deserved for the service and sacrifice that they gave. But we recognize that as a country now. And especially in the state of Louisiana, we recognize the service and the sacrifice that they performed. And, and sir, we have not forgotten. And we will never forget the service that our country gave, that our servicemen gave during Vietnam. Please join me again in applauding the Vietnam veterans. Please rise, rise with me and recognize and thank those Vietnam veterans who gave so much to this country for so little. Thank you. If I could say just a word about what we do here in Louisiana for veterans and how we remember and recognize not just your service, but the service of all veterans. We want Louisiana to be a home for veterans. Veterans from Louisiana, veterans from other states. It doesn't matter 
Louisiana is your home because we honor and respect your sacrifice. The state legislature, the government are working actively to increase your benefits, to give you whatever we can to keep you here and to honor you while we're here. We just signed, uh, two days ago, the governor signed a new legislation expanding educational benefits for the children of our disabled veterans. We often think about education benefits when we think about service, but often overlooked is the benefits for education to the children of veterans. Education is the pathway to economic mobility for the individual and economic prosperity for the community, for the state. And so we honor that. And, and if anybody deserves that kind of treatment recognition, it's our military veterans and their families, who if any of us have served for any length of time with families, we know the sacrifices that they have made and continue to make every day in silence with no medals on their chest. So it's the very least we can do is provide additional educational benefits to those, those children of veterans. If you're a veteran and you don't know what your benefits are or you're having trouble accessing them, there are veterans assistance counselors in every parish in this state that you can go see. Most of them are in the parish offices. They will for free help you file your claims, your initial claims, your appeals to the VA. They will help you understand things like parking benefits at the airport to license plates, hunting and fishing permits, anything you need, you can go to those VACs and they will help you provide it. And if you don't get what you need, then you come find me and I will find out why you're not getting it and how to get it to you. Louisiana is a home for veterans. Thank you. Yes, please. Louisiana is a home for veterans. We want it to be a comfortable, safe place that honors you and your service. We thank you for your service. God bless America. God bless the great state of Louisiana. And most importantly, God bless the service, sacrifice, and valor and heroism of our veterans. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby.